Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're very welcome. This is Hannah Tiga. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to make a built up collar neckline. So let's get started. You want to place your front panel on the table. I have just drafted my hair. This is a sample I'll be using and I'm using centimeters instead of inches. So I've got a three by three neckline and I've marked five inches again. So you want to consider the depth of your neckline. That is five. So the five inches plus the three I have before is eight. So I've come down from the three inches and I've come down by two inches. Right from that three inches, I've marked two inches down. So you want to go over to the shoulder and come in by one inch. Don't forget this is centimeters, not inches, but in real life, you want to come out by one inch and connect it to the two inches. Once that is done, you want to grab your scissors and cut. Yeah, so I've placed here the front panel again on another fresh paper. You need to do this. Before placing now on the fresh paper, you want to cut the neckline from the two inches all the way to the one inch. But you're not going to be cutting through. So you're going to stop over there, right? Once that is done, you're going to spread that on the fresh paper and open it up by two inches. Grab your tape rule or your ruler inch and check. You need two inches for the opening. So you want to make your marking so you know where it starts and end. Secure with your tape. And you can secure the rest of the pattern as well. So now you want to extend the line from the one inch. We've drafted along the shoulder. Extend it right up. And you're going to be taking 1.5 inches. Make sure you have up to 1.5 inches there. Grab your ruler or tape and mark 1.5 inches also it's up to you you can take two inches if you want your collar to be higher than the 1.5 the 1.5 and the one inch adding both together gives us 2.5 for the height of the collar i should have connected the neckline right away here but i have to show you a few things so what i did was to connect the wrong line here not from the 1.5 so that's a mistake you shouldn't make don't forget you need to start from your 1.5 or two inches so i'm gonna draw that out you want to connect it from the 1.5 all the way to the original neckline the original three inch right before the slashing and you want to connect it all the way down and connect it to the line below so you're gonna curve it out from that point all the way like that once you do that you'll have this kind of neckline but we're not gonna be sticking with this we're going to be reconstructing the neckline and what you need to do is just to connect again from the 1.5 all the way down in a bit of a curve so the neckline is wearable. This isn't wearable at the moment. Otherwise, you'll be covering the front of your neck, but we want it open, don't we? So you want to curve it out like that and connect it to the 1.5. There you have it. So you would have a curved collar like that. That runs all the way up to the 1.5 or the 2 inches you've drafted. 
So here we've got two different shapes of neckline. But this is the one we're going for. Also, there's another method you can have. You can draft it from the 1.5 and shape it below or reshape it the way you want. If you want your neckline to be more opened up, then you can do it like this. You can open it up a bit or open it up by the 8 inches and connect it to the line we've drawn before. It's up to you how you manipulate that. So you want to come out by one inch over there for your zip allowance or button allowance. So your zip or button allowance is one inch. You want to draft the neckline and connect it to that one inch. Also around the shoulder line you want to do a blending. From the neck to the shoulder needs a blending up because it's not sharp. It's a bit curved there. So... All we need to do now is grab our scissors and cut and that's our front panel done. Whatever neckline you've chosen, it's fine. The two metals I've shown you, it's fine. And if you want your neckline closed up, you can. But that's not the color we're drafting here today. This one is a open hop, high built up high color. Now we're going to draft our back panel. You're going to grab another fresh paper for the back panel and place the panel here. Leaving allowances at the top and on the side everywhere for the drafting. So you want to come up here, just roll a straight line. And on the other side of the neck, roll another line over there, right? The back neckline panel has 3 inches in width and 1 inch for the neck depth. So don't forget that. So here I'm going to measure what I have there. Don't forget the 1 inch plus the 1.5 inches. The total there is 2.5, so I'm going to do the same on the back panel. That's 2.5 there. So I'm going to do the same on the back panel. Take the 1 inch, mark the 1 inch first. Then after marking the 1 inch, I want to connect off there. And I'll make sure I've got the 2.5, exactly what I have on the front panel. Make sure it's accurate and you want to make the curve. So also you want to draw this a line across. You can either make it a bit slightly curved like I've done or you want to apply a straight line. I would recommend you make it straight instead of curved. So you want to make a straight line. And you want to grab your scissors and cut. The back panel has no cut. So it will be a matter of placing it on fold. On a fabric on fold. So the neckline can be all round with no cut. For the front panel you will be adding zipper or buttons. Now you will align the front panel with the back panel, shoulder to shoulder and neckline to neckline and see if they properly align together before you complete the process of cutting on a real fabric. So I'm just placing my tape to secure that and I'm going to place them on each other now for you to see. So that's the front and that's the back panel. I want you to take a look carefully at the shoulder and neckline here. The result of what we've been drafting. So that's the 2.5 together which forms the shoulder to the neckline height. Built from the shoulder up 2.5 and that's our shoulder there matching each other. So 
what I'll do now, I'll apply a tape so you can see properly. And before that, you need to add your sewing allowance all the way around your shoulder neckline, all the way around. Don't forget, you need your sewing allowance for all that bit. Another thing you would add to your bodies is your dart. But in this video, I haven't done that because the focus is on the neckline. So after applying a cello tape, you can see that the neckline is well built up. Don't forget the total height from the shoulder hop is 2.5 inches. Now we've come to the end of the tutorial. I hope this tutorial has been useful. And if you have found this useful, remember to subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in my next video. Till then guys, look after yourself and bye for now.